guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Today I reviewed a few products for you. I got sent a little PR package from Mecca Maxima. So I thought I would do just like a little get ready with me, I suppose, and try out a few of these products that I got given. So I have a couple of primers from ugh, primers from Smashbox. I have a few NARS lip products that I want to give a go and also a powder foundation and one or two other things as well. I want to thank Mecca for sending me these products. Obviously this is not a sponsored post or anything but they did send me the products for free so I can just give them a review and send out my opinions to the world. So I hope you all enjoy this video and just keep on watching if you want to see how I created this look with these Mecca products. Alrighty, so, oh wow. My ring light brings out the worst in my fake tan, I swear to God. Anyway, moving right along, let's just ignore that, shall we? I have started off with my brows because I have no brow products to review. First thing I suppose we'll give a go is actually something that I used yesterday um, after I got the package, but it is the Smashbox Reduced Redness Photo Finish Primer. It's a green primer and it is going to help with all my redness on my cheeks from like spots or just from general redness under the skin. I used this one yesterday and actually really, really liked it. Um, I'm going to keep trying it and just see how it reacts with my skin. I'm going to try this Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue Skin Clearing Loose Foundation, which blows my mind first of all um this one is in neutral ivory 2n i don't know if this is going to match me but i'm going to try it anyway this reckons it's going to help clear blemishes while also being a foundation let's give it a go shall we i think you just need to shake it out should probably open it first I feel like this one is more of a lighter coverage compared to the other loose foundations or powder foundations that I've tried, but I think this would actually be really, really nice just for using every day because it's not heavy at all and you can, you can barely even tell you're wearing anything, but it does even out the skin tone. It's definitely not my shade at the moment, as you can tell. We're just seeing how the formula is, etc. And I can warm it up with some kind of bronzer afterwards anyway. It does look a lot more like it matches in person though. It is building up in colour a little bit. It has made my skin look a lot more smooth. It looks really, really light on camera, but it doesn't look as light in person. It's definitely too light for me at the moment. I feel like this is a light to medium coverage, but... I have been able to build it up a fair bit. I don't know how it works though with like concealer. Like should I put concealer on over this even though it's a powder product because you're not really meant to put cream over powder. I don't know. I'm going to just put a bit of bronzer on. Nothing crazy. But I do want to warm up this face because you girls not matching right now. I'm going to use the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is the matte bronzer, and you can get this at Mecca, so I figured I'll use that one. Keep it in theme. Ooh, I can do a blush. And actually, since Mecca is now selling MAC products, I'm going to use a MAC blush. Obviously, I didn't get sent this in the package, but I'm trying to keep it all in the Mecca family and this is the Warm Soul Blush. If you don't have this, then you're playing yourself. But oh my God, it just warms up the face as well as well as giving you like a flush of color. Loves it. Next up, contour the eyes a little bit. Like I say, I really want to focus more on those products that I got sent, but you can get this palette at Mecca. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette, and literally this color right here, amazing. Just get it on there. The Smashbox Always On Liquid Liner and the packaging of this, it's literally like a wand. I'm just going to do, I haven't done this in so long because I have hooded eyes, so whenever I do like a cat eye or something like that, it always turns out to be a little bit 
a little bit funny because my lids kind of ruin it for me. I'm going to try a really thin line across the top lash line and see how we go. Oh, this is so stressful. The eyeliner itself is really, really nice. It goes on really smooth, like it's not dry at all. It's very black, very, very black, which is good. I did it and it looks like it matches. Now I have one of the products that got sent to me from Mecca, which is the NARS Climax Mascara. First of all, look at this packaging. How cool is this packaging? This is what the spoolie looks like. Mascara, no mascara. So obviously what I look for is something that's gonna really lift the lashes above my crease line, which this one has done. Um, I really like that about it. I'm actually really, really impressed. It's making, I'm not sure if this does have fibers in it because it's making my lashes look really, really long. I'm actually gonna put a, put a bit of highlighter on because I forgot to do that. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know when that stopped filming, but anyway, I'm using the Sweet Peach Glow Palette as my highlight, just to keep in the theme of the makeup products, even though this wasn't sent to me. I've had this one for a while, but I still want to get a full face done. Cute. And it smells so good, obviously. These products I was sent, so I was sent actually a few lip products from NARS. So there's four of these. I have three of the vinyl lip lacquers and I've got the shades Cape Town, Santo Domingo and Bruzo. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly or not. And then I also have one of the velvet lip glides. This one is in Paradise Garage. Mm -hmm. I love both of these formulas. Um, I've actually had another shade of this formula, the Velvet Lip Glide, in stripped for a really long time and I use it all the time. I love it. And then last night I actually used this lip lacquer in the shade Santo Domingo and it is so good. It's like a gloss liquid lip. Um, the pigment is really, really nice and the formula is amazing. Let's see. I might do, because I haven't used this shade yet, and since the eye look is quite simple, I think we can go a little bit of a darker shade. I'm just gonna use a general nude lip liner. And then we will chuck this one right over the top. It's like a deep purpley shade. I love this formula. It's so, so comfy on the lips. It's not super matte. It's not super glossy. It's just a really nice, obviously, velvet, which is why it's called that, velvet formula. Um, they don't get all gross as the night goes on when you're wearing them. They just feel really, really comfy, and then you just reapply as it starts to fade. Okay, guys, so that is the finished look. I'm really happy with all the products that I got to try today. That mascara actually really, really surprised me. I'm really happy with how my lashes look with the NARS Climax Mascara. The lip colors I love. I'm really keen to actually try some of these shimmery glosses. They kind of scare me because I'm not into, like, a lot of shimmer on the lips particularly. Shimmer every, everywhere else, I'm so down, like I'm here for it. NARS have obviously a couple other shades that you can go for, such as this one, which I'm really, really excited to use more and more. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini review slash quick makeup look uh, video. So I hope you guys really, really liked it and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.